Hello, hello, people. It is miserable here in New Jersey, expecting about three inches of rain. You can tell I've already been rained on. Went to House of Polk with my husband and his Pathfinder friends. We're all upstairs playing a Pathfinder game right now. If you don't know what Pathfinder is, it's kind of like an adventure, fun kind of day out for the boys and the gals. There's some gals that play too. Um, I got one kid competing in the rain. I've got another kid uh, working at a film festival. So I got plenty of time for y'all. I actually have like, uh, like about an hour that we can mess around on here. Tons of news. I see my girl, the Hutchess is on here. And actually, um, Mel, one of the, and I'm just trying to unflatten my hair from being out in the rain. One of the things that I was going to talk about today, I was going to talk about bullies. So there's a lot of bullying going on online right now. Um, I, you know, I don't quite know what to make out of it because I, I think we're all adults. I, I'm not really sure. I think we are. Um, but uh, you know, I've got, I've got a number of YouTube professionals that I am friends with who are dealing with a lot of, a lot of really bad behavior, like ba behavior. I just wouldn't accept out of other people. Um, grumpy Sapper's wife bullies her. <laughs> so I, I was trying to bully Greg out in the yard the other day doing, doing, um, uh, doing yard work. Um, oh, grumpy, are you sick? There's, there's a lot of stuff going on over here too. So um, the, apparently our whole middle school is sick with the stomach virus right now. I shouldn't say the whole middle school, but a lot of people at the middle school and everybody, Samantha is under the weather as well. So let's give them, let's give them some love down in the comments. I'm going to throw some magic their way, some healing magic. We got stars. Hilaris. I see you there, lovey. I see you there. Um, yeah, like everybody's kind of still got it stuck with them. So uh, 20 people. Wow, everybody jumped right in. So show some love to Grumpy Sapper and my girl, Samantha Mustard McDowell, which every time Greg sees your name, he goes, is she married to Colonel Mustard? So <laughs> he has some fun with it. So um, so what? Uh, there's, there is, hey, Penny. Hey, Penny. Um, so w there's a ton of news going on right now, right? Like a ton of news. A, a lot of people got to eat crow. Um, there was a terrible event that happened in Moscow. Um, that was in the news. There was an event with ISIS people that came into uh, a venue and, uh, did a little root and tootin and uh, it was not good, not a good thing. So, um, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Candace Owens has left, um, the daily wire due to the discrepancy with her opinion on what's going on in Israel and Palestine, um, with Ben Shapiro. So that's news. Of course, we've got the Royal family news, but I am here for you. So let's, 
start with my girl Samantha Mustard. Samantha, I'm going to throw you a reading because you need it, my darling. You need, you need some good loving. Good love. Got to have a love. And I, I have like the weirdest craving to like listen to a ton of Grateful Dead, but I can't because I got a house full of people. I can't like walk around listening to the Grateful Dead. So, oh, Penny, you've been sick too? So, Samantha, this is for you. Let me bring up some cards. I'm going to bring up card view. Here we go. Swoop. Samantha, Samantha. Got that world in reverse. Eight of Wands in reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. King of Pentacles upright. And the Two of Swords in the upright. So, Samantha, take time getting back on your feet. All right. That's that's what I'm going to tell you first off. Is you really do need to give yourself time to recover. When this world in reverse comes up and this Eight of Wands. This is always slow down. Slow down. Oh, wifey, it's not that they don't like the Grateful Dead. It's just that they're they're all disgusting. So I, I can't really have anything playing. So, um slow down. You're not going to like it because I know you're a spicy gal. You're a spicy gal. So you're not going to like it, but patience and the king of pentacles moves slowly and deliberately and he calculates every move. So I want you to be able to do that. So stay calm and under care as long as you can, as long as it's reasonable. Um, you know, you really do need to just kind of settle into that. We'll keep you entertained. Don't worry about it. We'll keep you entertained. So over here, they're going to give you some options and say, you know, we could do this or we could do this. So just wait for those options. In the meantime, you don't have to do anything. The only thing you have to do is focus on getting better and getting uh, getting back up to speed. OK, so do that under the surface. You're going to be thinking about a lot of different things. You're going to be thinking about things you could have done differently. At this point, just con concentrate on the things that you're going to be able to change moving forward, the things that you're going to be able to do moving forward. Okay? So that's what I want you to do, my darling. I'm going to give you an energy card as well, a raise your vibration card. This is the um, Kyle Gray deck. I love this deck. And I'll tell you guys a little story about the remote viewing we did last night. So I had a remote viewing session with Gregopedia and uh, a good friend of ours named Mike. Great guy. Hi, Lynn. I see you over there on Facebook, Lynn, popping in. So Samantha. The world is blessed to have you. So take your time. We'll wait just like we will for the princess of Wales. So I'm going to put that over here on my stand. Honey bunny, that is my, my gift to you. So thank you for being such an avid supporter. You're fantastic. I love it when I see you in the chats. So um, just rest, just rest and get better. Okay. Um, so there we go. I didn't want to out you on, on what happened, but uh, we'll put that up. So, you know, everybody knows. Send her some love. Send Samantha some love. Okay. So let's talk about. Uh, <laughs> yes, you're naming the same sentence as the Princess of Wales. So let's, let's talk a little bit about the uh, remote viewing that we did last night. I, I'll pull down the card view just for a minute so we can, we can talk about this. So um, so our, our friend, Mike, um, he's, you know, into the same stuff that all of us are. Oh, Penny, thank you so much, honey bunny. I appreciate that. I'm going to throw you some cards in just a second. Um, so, uh, Mike, Mike messaged me and said, do you have a weird feeling about this eclipse that's happening? So uh, those of you that live in the United Kingdom, um, the eclipse is going to go right across our our grand country here. Not everybody's going to get to see the, you know, the, um, uh, the full resolution. I can't remember what you call it, but not everybody's going to get to see it. So, um, it, but what we have is, uh, the schools are being closed along the route of the, um, hi Foxy. I see Foxy there. Foxy, we're talking about the eclipse and the remote viewing I did last night with some, with Gregopedia and a friend. 
So, um, so we, we, uh, we said, let's, Mike said, um, you know, the National Guard's being put there and the, uh, the schools are being closed. They're, they're, they're closing down um, the malls and all these things like, and it's just, they're saying it's in uh, preparation for the volume of people that are going to come to see the eclipse. However, we were like, hmm. so uh, we did a remote view and uh, we basically said, let's just go to where the pathway is going to be. And I very clearly got a young man, 18, 19, 20 years old, very young. Um, he, his name was uh, William Lester Tyburn, T-Y-B-U-R-N, but it might've been Tyler. I couldn't quite see it exactly. Um, ginger, definitely a ginger and a little bit of a goofy guy, uh, you know, a, a younger guy in the service. And uh, they were in an open top truck. And he was with one or two other guys and it was nighttime and it, he was feeling the exhilaration. He said, this is what I signed up for. Um, this is what I'm here for. And it was just kind of like Baha'ing across the desert. His marching orders are, and I, I know I'm looking this guy up. I'm seeing if I can find him. Um, his marching orders were from, uh, from the location, from the, the camp that they're at. Uh, they told him to uh, just go back and forth in the desert. That's your job. Your job is just to kind of go back and forth in the desert and look around. I went to, um, I fast forwarded because you can do that in remote viewing. So I fast forwarded and my lighting just got really brighter, really weird. Um, so, uh, and in the morning I saw the camp, it was still cold, still fairly cold. And I did get the sense that it was like Nevada, Oklahoma desert, you know, it was that kind of an area. So um, the gal who is in charge of this particular location, uh, her name's Yolanda. She's also a ginger, believe it or not. And there were um, five or six uh, uh, barrack tents um, plus one tent that was a uh, kind of a communal tent. And then there was also a medical tent. And the purpose of this particular facility is to be a comfort station for people in any affected areas by anything that may affect them. So the trucks can go and pick people up and I just hit my camera. So it's going to be totally wonky when I put it back on. So the trucks can go and pick people up and bring them back and that's their job, but it's going to be just like a temporary station and then they're going to move them out. Um, Mike got much more dramatic stuff. So he got like in a city where there was action happening and there were some of this stuff was going on. Ding, 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 ding. Um, you know, that was kind of crazy. Greg, Gregopedia with his superior remote viewing skills, saw a facility in Ohio that is in relation to this. Good morning, Rainbow Rose. So in relation to the events that are going on, the deployment of National Guard, the deployment of the military, and please don't let those black sedans show up at my house. Um, he saw a multi-level facility that had kind of a grow room at the top level. Um, I think the second room, second level was, uh, some kind of storage facility or, uh, no, that was, that was the room with all the screens in it. It was kind of like a, um, like a mission control. The level underneath was, a, a um, uh, more of a storage unit. There were some kind of pods there. <laughs> he saw some pods and then the, there were, uh, there were tanks, some kind of tanks you could see through them. Um, and the, the individuals that he saw were of varying height. Now, Greg got a little bit nervous and pulled out of his remote view because he sensed that they could see him. Now, one of the things that makes astral projection and remote viewing different is that when we astrally project, they can sometimes see us. But when you remote view with purpose of going there um, as a, you know, invisible person, you're, yeah, if you think about it, when you astrally project, you go there. When you remote view, you're looking through a telescope at, at the spot. So you're still still here. So he may have stepped out of his body and he did have an outer body experience when he was um, a young kid in uh, middle school. 40 people in the view. Thanks everybody for showing up. Super fun to be here today on a super rainy day. 
So, um, so we're going to do some more looking at this. Um, I can't really do the remote viewing on here. It's really not that entertaining. So I think what we'll do is we'll keep doing our, uh, we're going to do another session in about a month, which is again, well past the, the eclipse, but, um, we'll keep doing those remote viewing sessions. And, um, if, if I can get, um, our buddy to come on as a super secret guest, I will, uh, I'll have him him come on and hang out. So, John Chorney, hi. Are you a new person? I, I think I think you're a new person, sir. Nice to see you in the chats. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, uh, let me get back to my good friend Penny here. Penny, I'm gonna give you a general, baby. You are gonna get a general. So, ooh, let's bring that back up. Let's bring that back up. So, and guys, we're we're looking at news. We're looking at you guys. We're looking at whatever you want to look at, except for remote viewing. We're not going to remote view because it, it's not that it's not that fun to watch. It's not that entertaining to watch. So, Penny, this one's for you, baby doll. And I do have my Lenormand out if you guys want to do some Lenormand stuff. I know I do want to ask some questions about ARO. So we'll talk about that. Penny, looks like life is good, but you got some decisions that you have to make that aren't too sparkly and shiny. You got a rough one to make. So here's the thing. The, the, this empress right here, whenever we see her, that's usually a pretty well-rounded, peaceful situation. Um, we're, we're usually really, whoop, there we go. I had some stuff up on my screen. We're usually in a pretty peaceful situation here. This is a very peaceful situation where we have this 10 of pentacles. This is just being very mellow. Life is good. There's abundance. Everybody's happy. You got Klondike bars in the freezer. I don't know. That's like when I was a kid, I thought that was like the height of luxury when you had Klondike bars in the freezer. I don't know why. <laughs> so um, this, you've got your Klondike bars in the freezer. But you have to make a decision of how to divert from this. There's there's some stuff that's coming up that you you can possibly divert from it. Um, some it, it may not be ideal. It may not be exactly what you thought was going to happen moving forward. But in order to get to this piece, sometimes we have to go through a little bit of a rough patch. Sometimes we have to go through avenues that we didn't anticipate going through. So um, this is something, uh, you know, that we can we can discuss later if you want up here. All of the energy and power is in your hands. You are the decision maker here. You are the dreamer and the dr maker of the dreams. So you absolutely can do this under the surface. You don't want to be generous to people you want. Hi, Deborah. Deborah's in the house. So you don't want to be um, you you don't want to be uh, a chump at this point. You don't want to pass things out uh, to individuals that are not going to reciprocate or support you. Those kinds of things. So so this makes some sense to me. So um, you know, figure out which way you want to go and do that autonomously. You know, this is like when we get this together, it's like single mom, you know, um, you're doing what you need to do for your people, for the people that are closest to you and not too worried about anybody else. So if there's some pruning in your life that you need to do, if there's some people that need to come off the teat, um, I'm not talking about kids, but you know, sometimes we have, uh, friends and family and colleagues and work that, that just depletes us and really takes too much out of us. So, um, you just want to be careful for that. So, um, wifey, you are gosh darn right. Thank you so much, Penny, for your contribution. Wifey says, share this with someone magical. Absolutely. So let's get uh, who, hands, hands up. Who wants to take a look at how the events of the last 24 hours, let's put that. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to say something. I, I'm, I'm very glad that I did not go into hard speculation as to what was going on with the Princess of Wales. I'm quite fond of her. I am fond of the royal family. Um, I did do a brief on a live about debunking some of the speculation and some of the wild conspiracy theories that were going on. Um, everybody's entitled to some kind of wild conspiracy theory, 
It's an Amanda. How are you, baby doll? So everybody's entitled to have wild conspiracies. Um, I have some myself. I just talked about my remote viewing. So, you know, you can take that for what it's worth. Um, but I, I, I did not, I, I think when you are a person of note, it's much harder to, um, put these crazy scenarios in place. Um, do I think that Pooty has a number of body doubles? Absolutely. Do I think that, uh, president, president 46 or whatever he is, has a bunch of body doubles? Absolutely. I 100% think that he does. But I think that that's with any world leader. You've seen it throughout history. Those kinds of things happen. Um, it's not an unusual tactic for celebrity or politics. So, um, but do I think that they would do that with Catherine Princess of Wales? I do not. I, I, I just don't think it's worth it. Um, not for publication, maybe for diverting attention, but not for publication. So um, there it is. I said it. And I think that was her in the video. And I think it was incredibly brave. And I wish her all the best. And I know all of us here do as well. So um, but let's take a look at the other one. <laughs> so if, if you guys have any reading requests, you can pop them up there. Um, just put them in bold so I can see them. Super chat, super stickers are real easy for me to see. Um, so the launch of American Riviera uh, Orchard was possibly timed to capitalize on Princess Catherine being out of uh, sorts or, or doing poorly. Um so <laughs> it's backfired big time because this was just taking uh, and uh, trying to um, capitalize on the power vacuum there, the, the PR power vacuum. So uh, I don't think here, I'll, I'll pull it up. Let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So let's see, I'm looking up American Rivi Still, still at a, uh, she only has, I'm not following it guys. I know I clicked on it, but I'm not following it. Uh, nine posts, 564 followers. And that's it. That's it. So it doesn't look like it's... So apparently, Amanda, um, Montecito is called the American Riviera. I, I lived out there. And I don't ever remember anybody calling it that, but... Um, and, and what I think she is doing, and we'll take a look at this. I think the plan is to create her own war, royal warrant. So, um, any of you that have ever bought any products from the United Kingdom here, I'm going to switch over before we pull up the card so you can actually see me. Um, my hair is, looks like it's settling in after being soaking wet outside. So um, I think what she is going to do is create her own war royal warrant. Any British products that you have, um, some of them have a little seal of the queen, the, the late queen or um, the current king. And it is a royal warrant. How the, these royal warrants work, for those of you that are in the United States, I just said my camera again, let me just smack this out of the way. Um, how those royal warrants work is companies are promoted by the crown, by the royal family, and they will get this royal warrant so that when you go to the street, oh, the queen loves this or the king loves this, and you go and buy it. I think what this American Riviera orchard is intending to do is to function in the reverse fashion. So I think it's more like an Amazon affiliate kind of thing. So I think she is going to, hi, Katie, you're not too late. We've only been on like 20 minutes. It's okay. 
So what I think she's going to do is more like an Amazon affiliate link. Now I have Amazon affiliate links. And what happens is I post up a tarot deck that I like, and I will put my Amazon affiliate link. And if someone buys that deck from my link, I will get a small portion of the price um, at no additional cost to the purchaser. So, uh, and, and it's minimal. It's, it's really minimal through Amazon. But if she's doing this through her website, she can take a, take a bigger cut, a bigger commission from that. So yeah, my hair's a lot longer, <laughs> Foxy. I'm I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. Um, and I, I do curl it. I do um, puff my hair up a little bit. So um, Grumpy says, spank that button. I do like it. Sp spank the, the like button. Go get it. So um, let's see if that's her intent with this. The assumed... Uh, reverse royal warrant, we're going to call it. Reverse royal warrant. And I'm going to flip these around so you guys can see better. Thanks, everybody, for stopping in. Guys, this is, I, I, this is, this is like the most fun I have. And sometimes it's, it's a little hard for me to get down here and do the, um, the production videos. It's not like I edit or anything. It doesn't take me too long, but you know, sometimes I got to drive a kid here. I got to drive a kid there. Like this morning I took Ella to her film festival and I got back and Angus called me because he forgot to bring money to get pizza before they go to the competition. He asked me to get him something to eat. So I went to pick up something to eat for him. And as I was doing that, I called Greg because Greg wasn't home. I didn't know where he was. I thought something was wrong with somebody in the family. And Greg was like, no, I'm out to lunch with the guys that are gaming and you have my credit card or you have my debit card. I was like, oh, so I guess I'm going to come by you. I was all over the place. So, um, so there it is. So I came home and I Mario carded for a few minutes and dried out. And then I came down to hang out with you lovely people. So is she doing this? Yes. Yes. This is absolutely what she's doing. The moon in reverse. This has been revealed. It's been revealed by me. So it's, it's definitely going to be this uh, commission-based website. She's going to promote products. I don't know, a la Goop. I guess, I guess this is how Goop works. Um, you just get there. I, I promise I won't smack that camera anymore. So this has been revealed. This is her intention. She wants to make commission off other luxury products. So we're not going to get Meghan Markle branded sheets. We're not going to get Meghan Markle branded uh, dishware or cookware. We're going to get the items that Meghan Markle uses in her kitchen, but they're not going to be items that she uses in her kitchen. They're going to be high ticket items. So how do I know this? Because I've been in sales my whole adult life. And, you know, the, the upsell is a big deal. It's, you know, it's something that everybody does. If you buy a life insurance policy for a half a million dollars, it's only a few bucks more to get a million dollar policy. So this is what she's going to do. She's going to have these high ticket items on there. She's going to say, and, and I called this, I said, this was the best way for her to go. And it, had she done it when she first left how to live like a royal come live like a royal like us had she disclosed all the stuff with the kids had she used it as a family it may have been more warmly received here in the united states now they just seem desperate so this the secret is out this is not going to save them six of swords in reverse this is not a rescue mission. They're not going to solve all of their financial problems. Everybody say it with me. We've got the 10 of pentacles in reverse, which means they're going to have blank all in their bank account. So I love that. I love F all like from the movie snatch when he has the moissanite and he goes, and it's worth blank all. I love that scene. Um, and I love that dog that ate the diamond it was great. So this is not going to work. The only solution is that they're going to have to try for another mission and try, try, try to build that wealth some other way up here. She's not asleep at the wheel. This is all her idea. 
under here. She is not happy at home. This is part of the issue. That's why this is American Riviera Orchard by Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. So that's why we've got this set up this way. So is she duping Harry? Is she <laughs> dupe and dump? Let's say dupe and dump. Sounds terrible, right? Dupe and dump. Is she duping Harry? And we've all seen this. We've all seen people go through divorces like this where they do what they're going to do. <laughs> My mother always says, if you have a good husband, blind him in one eye. And if you have a bad husband, blind him in the other. I don't know if that's good advice or not. I haven't taken her up on it. It just seems a little aggressive. So Let's see. Is she duping and dumping Harry? Is that what we got going on? Don't you wish your footprint was hot like me? <laughs> Nacho, where am I thinking? <laughs> All right. Are you guys seeing this? I shuffled the same cards. The same cards. I totally shuffled them. This was here before. I, Deborah showing. I, 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 who wants to come on and freak out right now? Who wants to come on? Deborah, you want to come on? I'm going to put a link in here. I'm going to do a link. If anybody wants to come on, hit the link. Any of my readers coming on. Bye. Bye. Link. Hit that link. <laughs> I would love to have you on, Foxy. Let's go. Everybody stand back. Foxy's coming on. Stand by. So, all right, while we're waiting for, for Foxy to get in the get in the studio, um, this is the same thing. It's revealed. We know what's going on. She's the agent of this. We've got the, uh, the Queen of Wands here under the surface. Is it going to work? No. She's not asleep at the wheel, though. She is up to no good, but that was wild. It was the same cards, but <gasps> it's for everybody. This is such a treat. I'm so excited that Foxy's on. <laughs> Wait, Foxy, are you frozen? All right, I'm going to bring you down and bring you back up. It's, oh, oh, and he disappeared. Maybe he'll come right back. Come back, Foxy, come back. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. Huh. Let me check your settings on the camera. Foxy, can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I can. Hello. <laughs> Hello, my dear. Can you hear me? I can. I couldn't see you for a minute, though. I'm so excited you're here. Can everyone hear me? <laughs> Everybody, thumbs up if you can hear Foxy. <laughs> can you hear me all right? Yes, my dear. How are you? Can anyone you? hear your... us okay? How is your weather over there? Did, did the storms all pass you and come here? The weather is cold over in the United Kingdom. Yeah, it's it's not cold here. It's it's um it's forty eight Fahrenheit, so it's not cold, but it's it's miserable. It is raining so hard. I can't even tell you. How are you feeling, my friend? I'm quite well. Well, I'm recovering after last week of not feeling too well. Chest infection bout. But you were asking about a storm. We did not have a storm in Brighton. No. Oh, but okay. the side effect, the side effect of the ill health that I had was a four pound weight loss, unfortunately. But that's that's not a bad thing because 
then when you get in those race cars that you like, you can go faster. It's not a race car. It's a classic car. Race car, <laughs> it would it would be entirely different. <laughs> so, yes. Foxy, do you know what my first car was? What did Sapa just say? Oh, where is he? Well, oh, Sapa, that's hot. Celsius. 35 is degree heat. In is that like summertime? It's hot. Ooh. Uh, what's going so, on? I don't know. I, I think it's those those black sedans that are pulling in my driveway for talking about the eclipse. <laughs> Look, you sort of frozen oh. for a moment. It sort of went on a loading path. Well, that's because Things it's cold where you are. Things frozen for a little bit, but I can see you now. <laughs> because it's cold. You're frozen because it's cold. <laughs> so, so, Foxy, tell me about this. There was a rumor the other day that your channel got suspended. Was there any truth to that? Oh, dear. I think things are a little better now. Sorry about that, Annabelle. It was like a bit of internet connection was being a bit dodgy to some yeah. extent. I, I think the internet's out to get me for all the crazy oh. stuff I talk about. But there there was a rumor last week that your channel got suspended. Was there any truth to that? No, it did not get suspended at all, no. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, somebody, somebody told me that Foxy, Foxy got suspended. And I think they said something on Trevor's channel. And so I real quick jumped over and I said, no, it doesn't look like he's suspended. looks like he's totally fine. So I, I immediately went into mama bear attitude. I was like, not my Foxy. I was ready to smash heads. Hulk yeah. mad. <laughs> not that I'm I have, Michael. I have to admit this rumor is a lie. My channel okay. did not get suspended. No. Good. Good. Whoever. That... Well, excuse my language, but whoever said that, that's patent bullshit. Whoever <laughs> said that my channel got suspended, utter bullshit. I, I think it was typical high school. Like somebody saw something and somebody said something and then somebody else picked it up. So, I, you know, what? I'm, I'm just glad that it's not true. And I'm glad that there's nothing like that going on because when I started the show, when I started this live, I said I, I was going to come on and talk about some of the bullying that's going on. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we all know what, what has gone on with Trevor and we all know what's gone on, what's continuing to go on with um, Mel and Paul, who are two of the finest people that I have ever met. Um, they are. Oh, <laughs> Debbie's coming on, too. <laughs> We're going to bring Debbie in. We'll have a look at that. Oh, <laughs> I'll mute her while her dogs are barking. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm going in the other on. room because, you know, a leaf, a leaf blew by. Yeah, I muted you for a second, but Foxy got dropped off. I think he's struggling with... Um, so I just put up, uh, Simon said that there was a solar flare. So I think we might be having some internet issues because of that. But uh, Deb, did you see the same cards that I pulled up just now? I know. Um, oh, wait a minute. Yes. I, I was watching. Why am I, I'm echoing. What am I doing wrong? Uh, you're not echoing on my side. It was such a treat to have Foxy pop on. So I just, I, I don't know if he's gone or what. It looks like I just dropped a few people. Um, but so yeah, Debs, that was wild. Any comment on that? Wait, can I not hear you now? Now I can't hear you at all. It, I was sitting there because I, I just took a break. I've been um, painting. Oh, 
I think Foxy, I think he got bumped off the server for a minute. So, um, but Car Karen, Mural, Foxy was looking for you. So stick around, stick around. Oh, and Grumpy said he'll, he'll, he'll jump onto his stream someday. Um, so, so uh, what did you want to read on Deb? Oh, why? And Deb just got bumped off too. All right. So I guess I'm on my own. <laughs> I don't, is it me? Am I still on, guys? Thumbs up if I'm still on. It looks like I'm still on. All right, let's let's jump over. Let's see. Let's do some cards on how William is doing. I don't have any requests on the screen, so let's see how. I want to call him King William so bad, so bad. Do a real quickie for King William. Maybe it's my my stream yard is like, no, Anna, you cannot. William is balancing away and he's not disappointed. This is actually a pretty good, pretty good view. And Deb is back. And Foxy's back. I'm sorry Foxy. about that. The internet was playing up. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I had well, what I had to do was I had to reset the router. Oh, that's the story of my life. We, you know, we had ah, an interesting experience. It couldn't be. Karen, <laughs> hello. No, it's Debbie. That's, oh, yes, Karen's there. I, I put it in the chat that, that Karen, Karen, you were looking for Karen. So, yes, Samantha, full house Karen, for us. I have to say, oh, sorry. Sorry, Annabelle. Karen, no, okay. I cannot tell you how wonderful it is to have you on here. <laughs> My goodness, is it is a surprise to see you. <laughs> I was asking after you and wondered if you'd come on. Make something of that. Oh. Did we freeze again? Yes, go ahead, Annabelle. You ready? It's got to be those solar flares. It's got to be. So I, I just did um, some interesting, this, this spreads for, for Prince William, but uh, I did some research on something called the, the Carrington event. And um, I, I will share it in the chat for anybody who's interested. And this was a, a geomagnetic storm that happened in 1859. And it affected the telegraph stations and caused a lot of issues. And it's it's most likely the result of a coronal mass ejection. Um, and some people are thinking that we're going to experience thing, we're going to experience something similar Oof. during this eclipse. Now um, the 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 theory is that if we do get blasted with some kind of solar storm that it'll only affect one side of the planet at a time. So it'll be um, like the northern or the southern hemisphere. So, um, but it could affect a, a lot of crazy stuff. It could um, make our electronics not work, that kind of stuff. So, so we could have issues. I think Debbie fell out again. Here, let me put Debbie back in. Hi, Deb, you're back. And I'm, you're back. Um, it's my internet must be doing crazy things too, because I'm. You're going in and out. Yeah. And um, right. the sound is. The sound is messed up. Uh. I, that's all right, guys. We're just having fun. So um, Foxy's cursing. We're hooting and hollering. So let's, well, talk about, let's talk about Prince William. Okay. So this is how he's doing right now. So he is, and this, you know, he will not go gently into that good night ever he is really a true warrior king. If mm. this were hundreds of years ago, he would be riding out in his armor. He would be leading his armies. He would be strong and bold in his approach. The war that he fights now, and I, I've said this, that we have been at war for probably the last 10 to 15 years, but it's an information yeah. war. And I think everybody is kind of on the same page as that because we do see how information can be manipulated. Um, you know, there, every story has four different sides. 
And he is the champion of the information wars that are going on now. And this isn't just personal for him. This is the information wars all over the world. So um, the, the, the data that goes out, he's very well balanced in terms of head and heart. So, um, and, and, and that's in respect to what's going on now. So he is meeting out his energies, not being too, too emotional. I think there was a moment where he was extraordinarily emotional about what was happening. I think there was a, 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 a why me kind of moment. I think there was a, um, I can't believe that, you know, uh, grandma died and, and, and no, no disrespect. Foxy to your late, great Queen Elizabeth. I, I was a tremendous fan and I lost Foxy now. I'll just keep going on my own guys. So <laughs> if they come back, I'll bring them back on. <laughs> so um, Grumpy, we're going to talk about that because I do think that we're getting closer to a Regency. Um, so we're going to take a look at that too. So I, I think there was a moment where he was very emotional, but he's put that on the side. He's okay with it now. He has put both feet on the ground and he is ready to march forward and do what he needs to do. Now, this five of pentacles is an interesting card because the five of pentacles, these are the mendicants. They're a religious sect who gets rid of all of their wealth, all of their riches in order to become closer to God, in order to become more spiritual, uh, more tuned in. And this is likely what he is doing. He is likely getting rid of all the fodder, all the craziness, all the noise, all the static around him so that he can focus and circle the wagons around those that he needs to protect. So does that mean that Harry gets to come back? Is there going to be reconciliation? We'll pull some cards out here. Ace of Wands, there is a possibility. Chariot in reverse and the five of swords in reverse, which means we're really going to be fighting. We're going to pull this up. Um, I don't think, I think in order to protect Harry, if he comes back, it is going to prove to be too much. We have that 10 of pentacles in reverse. I think the return of Harry is more damaging than the exile of Harry. I think giving him what he asked for in an abundant quality is really what the order of the day is. So let's look at that. So let's talk about Regency. I'm going to talk about Regency real quick. Other readings that I have done have shown that a Regency may indicate that there is some weakness to the monarchy as, as a whole, weakness as a whole. So let's take a look. How would a regency, no one specific names, how would a regency affect the monarchy at this point? It's not what anyone wants, but it may be the solution. Um, and Foxy's back. <laughs> Another uh, internet blackout. Yeah, Deborah. Deborah said that she keeps freezing up, so she's gonna she's gonna stay off camera. Sorry, honey. That's all right. We'll get together later. Well, it's so, good to see Deborah whilst it lasted. I know she's wonderful, isn't she? She's such a good reader too. I really wanted her her input so she can give her input in the chat. Mm -hmm. So if that's easier for her to do. So here we're talking have, about re okay. regency here, Foxy. How do you feel about a regency? What if what if King Charles said, "I am going to not abdicate, but give up my throne to a regent"? How would you feel about that? I'd be quite surprised if that happened. I would be surprised too. However, um, sometimes a proxy is not a bad thing. And when Queen Margreta abdicated from the Danish throne, I did a reading on that and just to see what, what the future of the Danish throne would be. And what I did, I, I, at the tail end of it, I said, wait, well, you know, what's like, Queen Camilla and King Charles, or King Charles and Queen Camilla, think about this. And both of them 
were very intrigued by the idea of retirement from royalty and and not so much um, abdication, but retirement. So not what David did, the Duke of Windsor, but more um, of, of what Queen Margaretta did, which is, you know, she did abdicate, but this would be, uh, you know, kind of doing a regency and then saying, okay, you know what, I'm still going to advise, I'll still be there. Um, you know, I, not, not to get too deep into politics, but when George Bush, um, the this, this second George, and I lost Foxy, uh, when the second George Bush got into office, I said, well, you know, maybe his father will be advising him. You know, I check in with my folks on, on advisement most of the time. Um, I, you know, I think that the, the Regency is kind of a good fit here. But I don't think that it's going to be William that is regent. So regency here, this is how, how the population is going to feel about it. Not, you know, not so great, but it is a way to move into the future and move into a more stable position, even though it would be a temporary position. Um, Foxy's being supportive by Star Trek tonight. Exactly. He's, he keeps getting beamed up. So it would be a cutting off. Um, also, we would be able to keep some people out, but there would be some discrepancies about that. So if a regency did come up, if there was some kind of passing of the torch, even in a temporary fashion, I think we're going to hear a lot from Montecito. Um, up here, people would, there would be a lot of questions about the intrigue, about the power dynamic. Oh, Foxy, that's okay, honey. I loved having you on, you and Deborah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much, Foxy, for gracing my channel with your presence. I think you are the tops. I love you so much. I think you're fantastic. So, um, so here people would think that the Regency was a power grab and that it would be, uh, some intrigue behind the scenes, people, you know, playing games to get into positions of power under the surface. The concern is that this is a natural progression of what is going on at the current moment, not a natural progression of the Royal family but a natural progression of the circumstances that be right now. So it, it, the fear is that this is unstoppable, that we, knew, we need to go into this regency um, because it's an unstoppable situation. So I have concerns about that. I definitely have concerns about that. So, um, so let's see, we're going we're gonna to do something neat here. These are the gypsy fortune telling cards. There, there's a, uh, hold on. So gypsy oracle cards, the Sibela de la Zingara. So we're going to take a look at these. These have a lot of different characters in them. Um, I don't think I have that in my, uh, what do you call it in the description of the video, but if anybody wants it, I will give you a link to these. But they're mostly characters in here, mostly characters and dispositions. So let's start with some silly ones. Let's start with a silly region. Mike Tyndall. <laughs> I love that Mike Tyndall. I think he's awesome. How would Mike Tyndall be as a region? <laughs> it says prison. <laughs> so I don't think that it would be the best fit. So we'll put Mike Tyndall on the side. Mike Tyndall seems like a big no. Um, let's see. Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh. Despair, that would cause some issues. Let's look at Harry. Wife. Now that's interesting. We're going to do some clarifier cards on that. So let me do a clarifier. He would be in the service of the wife. If he served as regent, he wouldn't be serving. The wife would. Okay. Um, so let's look at 
Catherine as regent. She's sick right now. She would be a soldier. She would follow the rules. William. Faithfulness. Oh, he's a defender of the faith. But this is the one that I am curious about. The Duke of Edinburgh. Edward. I think Edward is a fair um a fair replacement oh somebody mentioned my girl julianne lewis my girl alicia i love alicia my best is tarot buddy so let's see how would edward do young woman so that would have sophie at his side enemy oh more more as alicia would say i need some fries with that merchant so if edward got in there there would be some issues with I, i'm gonna say young woman young woman um who would be an enemy and she's also a merchant. So I think if Edward got in there as a regent, it would be troubling. It There would be some rumblings from across the pond, but if William got in there, it would be a good fit as regent. Um, so let's see what, what, what kind of, what kind of opportunities do we have for regent here? Oh, we'll go, we'll go to, um, Oh, so uh, someone asked if those were uh, Kipper cards. No, it is the Gypsy Oracle deck. Um, I, I will, I'll put a link. Hang on, hang on. I will put a link in. Do, 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 do. Uh, this is the English and Spanish version. This is the same one I have. Um, it has a few languages on the bottom, including Ruski Yizik. There you go. There's a link for you. So let's see. William as regent. William as regent. 50 people here. Thank you so much, everybody. Hit that like button. Subscribe because I lost a bazillion subscribers over the last couple of weeks. Karen, it's your birthday coming up. We're going to do a little birthday reading for you next after we see how, how William is going to do as regent. So sit tight, Karen. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. How would William do as regent? How would it go? Book. Information. <gasps> about the lady. Open information about the lady. Oh, that would be damaging with the birch rod. And the gentleman bear. He would take back. <laughs> Holy moly. I am so glad I pulled this deck out. So what? So when when we're reading Les Normands, um, it really does depend. I can't tell if my camera is crooked, if the cards are crooked. I can't tell what's crooked here, guys. There we go. We're straightened out a little bit. It, my camera has not been drinking. I just keep slapping it. So in Les Normands, whatever way the book is open, we have information coming out. So if the, if the binding is on the side of the woman, maybe it's secrets there. This secrets are being let out about the lady that will be damaging, that will punish her and the gentleman um, and then bring the power back, bring the financial power back. Under the surface, we have clovers. All the gods are on his side on this one. And up here, it restores the house, the institution to where it should be. So that is, I think if William gets in there, we are going to see a heavy, heavy hand. Holy moly. So Grumpy, you see 41? I see 53 on my end. I don't know. Maybe some of them are ghosts. All right, so 
Karen, darling, for your birthday reading. Let's see how things are going to go for you. Ba -na 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 -na. You say it's your birthday. You should not do too much. All right, so Karen, this is this is your birthday prescription from your fellow tarot fun reader. So what this says, and some of these cards look negative. I don't want you to think that they're negative. So the, the nine of uh, swords, when we get this in the upright, it's anxiety, it's being stressed out about stuff, kind of wringing your hands. So put that on the side. You're getting, you're getting done with it. You're going to let that go. All right. So this is like the easiest thing in the world. When you wake up tomorrow morning, well, but I better yet, before you go to bed tonight, I want you to take three breaths and just dump out that cup and go, I'm just leaving everything on the side. I'm not going to bring it with me. It's gone, gone, baby gone. So here you are letting go of any of your worries. So this is like, you know, get happy. Put on a happy face, right? Uh, let all your troubles go and put on a happy face. So you're gonna you're gonna just let that go. No work, no work. Don't work. You're gonna just take the day off and be mellow and have fun and just take care of yourself. That's all you have to do. Don't worry about it. Don't be disappointed. Things will get done in their own time, and you can always put somebody on that. And there's more days in the future. So taking one day off is going to get you to the other side. You may have to kind of double up work for the next couple of days, but don't worry about it. What can you look forward to in this next 53rd year? What is coming your way? What kinds of things are coming your way? Actually, we'll go to Lenormand for these. Let's go to Lenormand. Hi, Tina Thomas from the UK. What can you expect in the next year? We've got the house. We've got the store. We've got the star. And fish. Ooh, this is very interesting. Um, so all of these are good indications of increases of wealth and power. Um, cavalier messages are coming to you from a gentleman under the surface. So, so Karen, I'm going to tell you, so when we look at the house in Lynn Ormond, when we look at the, the house, the stork, the star and fish, those are all financially beneficial cards. They all are indicating that something good will be brought to you by message. Um, the stork is also a messenger of sorts. He's actually um, kind of a conveyance of good things. But the stork is a little interesting because uh, the stork will steal from other birds and give altruistically to others. So uh, it's kind of like a, uh, uh, what is it, Robin Hood, kind of the Robin Hood of birds which is an interesting place. But this is, you know, significant funds that will help secure your future and help you coast right in. So I don't know if you're ready to retire and you're going to start tapping into a 401k or an IRA or something like that. But this is showing that things are going to be very bright financially and that you're going to be able to move into the next year really comfortably. Um, and this gentleman is someone who is uh, in high regard, good guy. He's he's gonna he's gonna foresee that. So um, that's pretty wild. Good for you. Happy birthday, indeed. <laughs> so Tina Thomas, since you are somebody new here, and I'm I'm gonna have to wrap it up pretty quickly. But Tina Thomas, I saw you in there. I gotta find your comment. There you go. I think Tina's new here. So what we're going to do, oh, Semina, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm wrapping it up, baby doll. I got to go pick up a kid. So you'll have to catch me on the next one.
So, and if anyone would like to make any donations and keep my channel alive, that would be great. <laughs> I would love you all for it. So let's see, Tina, we're going to do, let's see what's going on with Tina for the rest of the week. We're going to do some Lenormand here, honey. So if you're not familiar with it, I'll break down the cards. Tina from the UK. Oh, we got the house again. And we got letter. Clouds. Oh, the sun. Nice sun burns away the cloud. And crossroads. Up top, we've got the moon. There's a moon out tonight. All right. So. <laughs> This is our dominant energy up here, Tina. So what, what's happening is your intuition is being ignited. Now, a lot of people are seeing this right now. There, there's, there's something going on that a lot of people are tapping into these um, intuitive kind of sensations and whatnot. Uh, th this has been going on since the, the, the great lockdown, the pandemic. Everybody's been kind of keying in on this. Hi, Mel. Mel's back, the Hutch S. I even had uh, the Fitness Hutch do a controlled remote viewing session, and he was kind of surprised at what he came up with. <laughs> so a lot of people are tuning into this. My husband is very pragmatic. He's very scientific. And I actually have him doing some psychic stuff, and he's kind of surprised about that. So um, a lot of people are having these events and, 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 and touching with that. Uh, intuition and those psychic abilities. So this, I want you to pay close attention to it. There is something going on when we get the house. It's about your stability. It's about the, uh, the framework in which you're living your life right now. There's going to be a message for you that will clear up some confusion and some uh, not so great stuff that's going on. So, um, you know, maybe something very minor, not not something big or anything like that. But the, the clouds are going to clear. The sun is going to come out and you'll be offered some other opportunities to go in different directions. The clarity that you're going to get from this is going to lead you to the good decision making here. Now, I am getting that there's something about education here. Um, this is, again, I'm uh, I'm getting uh, intuitive here, not just from the cards. So there's something about education that's going on here. So I don't know if you were waiting to hear if you could get into a program or get into a school or get into some kind of um, uh, step up at, at work or something like that. But this is going to clear up and you're going to be offered a couple of different ways that you can go about it. So I, I know here in the United States, you can, um, in order to become a teacher, you can go to university and get um, your certification that way after four years. Or there's something we call alternate route where you can go into the school system and uh, you, you do certain things and, and you can you can get your teaching certificate that way. It's just a little bit different um, and less expensive. but you take longer to get that teaching certificate where you can be an autonomous teacher in the room. So there's something going on. And I feel very strongly that it's education. I could be totally off on this, but um, it, it feels very, very much like this is a leveling up and you're going to be given two different directions that you can go for this level up. And it seems kind of dark, but it's always darkest before the dawn. So it's going to clear up and you're going to be able to move over into something even better. So um, I'm glad to have you here, Tina. So I hope you subscribe. I hope to see you back here. Um, but guys, I am going to have to go pick up some, some adults. I, I, I got to stop calling my daughter a child because she's an adult. <laughs> I'm still like, my baby. I got to go get my baby. But I got to go pick up her and her boyfriend. Um, her boyfriend and, um, oh, you're very welcome. Tina, was I even close? Like, was I hitting on anything, anything that means anything to you? I don't know. You know, sometimes, sometimes I'm just spitting. Oh, grumpy. I, I would love to get her a bike, but it's, it's a little far. And I'll send you pictures of what, what the rain is doing today. Oh, uh, and that's another thing here. Let me add you guys to the discord. Um, ba, 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 ba. invite people. 
copy. So um, there's, I, I just started doing this Discord stuff. So if you guys want to come on over and hang out in the Discord, we can chit chat in there when I'm not online, um, when I'm not here at the helm in my, um, oh, oh, I'm correct about the certification process. Okay. Yeah. That, I, I, that's what I thought. I don't know if you got certified up here, Deborah. Um, oh, yes. Feeling. Yes. Okay, good. All right. So something good is coming. There's, there's good stuff coming your way. So you just have to Sit, keep those ears open. Your intuition is your best tool right now, Tina. So um, stick with that. Like if, if you feel, I, and I'm telling you, like if you feel led into a pastry shop because you think something might be going on in there, go right in, go right in. So, um, you know, you, you never know what you're going to see. But um, so I put the discord link in there, guys. There's, there's a few of us in there. Grumpy Sappers in there. Um, a wife of Grumpy Old Marine, Deborah, Tarot Destiny, they're all in there. Samantha Mustard's in there. Um, and we put up memes and stuff like, you know, we, we have some fun. But, uh, you know, right before I went on just, uh, you know, an hour ago, I, I real quick said, hey, I'm going on surprise live. Uh, and you can tell it's a surprise live because I don't have that much makeup on. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, so listen. Thank you, everybody. I am going to schedule a pay-per-view event for a deep dive into stuff that I can't do on YouTube. So um, it's going to be too hot for YouTube. I'm going to have one coming up. I thought I was going to do one tonight, but then I realized I had to do all this running around and um, I just want to plan it a little bit better. So I'm thinking um, we may do it on Tuesday. I have to keep checking my schedule. We're in the middle of uh, crazy competition band season. So it's, it's a little bit intense. My son's all over the place. And every time I turn around, I have to hand them money. So, um, it is good, good fun. So, um, Samantha get well soon, honey bunny and uh, grumpy sapper. I'm going to have a Guinness when I get home. I was drinking Guinness out in the yard for the, um, Oh, I need a lot of makeup, wifey. I do. I do. There's I'm blotchy under all this. Yeah. So uh, I, I was drinking a whole bunch of Guinness when I was doing yard work the other day. But everybody, thank you so much for being here. Um, again, all of our best wishes to our, our Duchess, Samantha Mustard. Um, we want her to get well as quickly as possible. But take your time get your strength and, um, Karen, happy, happy birthday to you. And anybody that was looking for your own readings, um, you're going to have to catch me next time. So, uh, I'm going to jump off. So join the discord. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day.